Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the official post fire review for Sevenathi Nochinga versus Adrian Coriel. And I gotta say, man, this is the upset of the year. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Adrian Coriel knocks out. Seven Athi no Chinga in uh, just two rounds to become the IBF Life Lightweight Champion. Now, the reason why this fight was shocking to me for so many reasons was number one, you know, no Chinga had shown immense skill in his fights. He had won the world title against a Mexican fighter, right? And, um, you know, I thought with his combination of size and reach and punching power, you know, I, 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 I was looking at him and, and that man on, on the banner right there, Kenshiro Taraji, to be the Super Bowl or the light flyweight division, the best fight that could be made in the 180 pound division, right? And then when we, when we look on paper, Curiel only had four knockouts in like 20 something fights, you know, not a big puncher, um, right? But but he found that knockout shot and he flatlined um, No Chinga. And that's why you fight the fights. That's why you can never overlook any opponent because we're talking about No Chinga in big fights, undefeated fighter, you know, holding it down for South Africa. Now, now, you know, his dreams and, and, and goals for the time being have went up all, all went up in smoke, went up in flames, and um, he's got to regroup. Maybe he was a bit weight drained, but who, who knows? But either way, you cut it up, slice and dice. It's not even about no chinga. You know, I, I'm not writing him off. I, maybe, he goes, maybe, maybe he goes to flyweight, rebuilds himself. I, I'm still a fan. I want to see him fight again. But um, Adrian Correa, what, what, what a story. I mean, this is, this is why we love boxing, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this is a guy that... Again, you go in and look at his record. You know, he fought some guys in Mexico, uh, had some losses, had some draws, had 23 wins against mostly low-level opposition. There was nothing on God's green earth that could have pointed to him not only beating No Chinga, but beating him in an early round stoppage. I mean, uh, anybody who bet on him on, on, with an early round stoppage, two second round stoppage, uh, God bless you. You know, you're boxing because. Um, it's very few things that could really shock me. This is this this is this is this is one of the most shocking upsets boxing has seen in a long time because of the fact that Nochinga his progression as a fighter was trending upwards, right? He was trending upwards. And um I don't know, man. Just he got he got caught with a good shot. And, and and this could happen to anybody, you know, this could happen to any great fighter. This could happen to this could happen to Crawford, this could happen to Inouye, this could happen to Fury, as we saw last week with Nganu. Um so listen, now Curiel has put himself in the driver's seat. Um I know Ken Shiro Taraji has mentioned potentially moving up to flyweight to to pursue bigger opportunities even before this fight. Um him versus Ken Shiro would be an interesting fight. I mean, obviously I'd I'd favor Ken Shiro because I just think Ken Shiro um, is a technically better fighter than uh, Nochinga. But again, you know, these Mexican fighters, you can't ever doubt them. You can't ever write them off fully because they, they come to win. And um, even even though the records might not look great on paper, they, they've gotten the proper experience to prepare themselves for the big moments. And it's, and it's shown itself to be true again. So um, I think Ken Shiro would be a heavy favorite against Carrillo. But I, I think Curiel would take the fight because Curiel really wasn't supposed to even win this fight, right? So to fight, you know, the man that many consider to be the best light flower in the world, you know, put, uh, quite possibly one of the top 10 pound pound fighters of the sport, you know, um, one of the boxing's most honorable champions in, in, the, in the sport today. Um, that's a fight that I'm sure he'd welcome with open arms. And I want to see it. So uh, hopefully, you know, he could continue to prove people wrong and, and, and the Cinderella story can, can, can continue writing itself because uh, he apparently in the locker room, he told his mo mother, I'm not losing this fight. And he fought that conviction. And he, you could even see when, when he knocked out Nochinga, he kind of stared at him in a, in a really, uh, uh, you know, intense fashion. So, um, you know, congratulations to him. You know, Mexico was supposed to have a champion last week with, with, with Rocky Hernandez. He choked against Osaki Foster, but Mexico gets its champion with uh, Adrian Curio who knocks out one of the most uh, high-level fighters in his weight class in, in what I believe to be the upset of the year in boxing because nobody's seen it coming. Nothing, nothing on God's green earth pointed to him winning this fight, and he did. So um, much, much love to him. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Adrian Carrillo's knockout over Nochinga? Should Nochinga move up to a flyweight? You know, is his punch resistance just gone? 
And, um, you know, what do you think about Ken Shiro against Adrian Correa? Because all of a sudden now, that's the fight in the division. There's no no chinga. Jonathan Gonzalez has a whole situation, a whole situation with, with, with the WBO. Um, he has to go fight some other dudes, who want, some other guy who won the interim title. So right now, that's the fight to make at Life Flyweight all of a sudden. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.